What's up guys, my name is Marcel, welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street. Today I want to talk to you guys about sneakers together with suits. It's something we've seen a lot, but it's something I feel like a lot of guys out there still don't quite nail when it comes to the details. So I want to talk to you about things that you should do, and a few things that you should probably stay away from when trying to rock this look. Let's jump right in and let's take a look at the photo right here. Honestly, that was me trying to stretch it a little bit to, to point out a few things that you shouldn't do. Let's start with the suit itself. It should not be a suit that you've had in your closet for the past 20 years. It should be fairly modernly tailored and the fabric should be something that's a little bit more modern as well. Important with the lapels, I think a wider lapel or a peak lapel, it's intrinsically more classic. So go for a more modern suit that ideally doesn't have a break. That basically means that the fabric in your suit pan goes all the way down to your ankle without wrinkling. For me, a fun pattern like this window pane that I'm wearing right now, and I'm also gonna show you a couple more later that are a little bit more fun and a little bit less traditional, work way, way better. Then let's talk about the shirt. The shirt itself shouldn't be too dressy and don't try and make a dress shirt work in a casual way. I think that's where a lot of guys also fail because they just take basically their, their business wardrobe and put on a pair of running sneakers. Athletic shoes that are chunky, that have colors in them that should not be in there for the pure sake of comfort. Wearing sneakers with a suit is not an excuse to be super comfortable. You're gonna be wearing sneakers, you're gonna be more comfortable, but make sure they're a little bit more refined, like the ones I'm wearing right now, a pair of white leather sneakers, super minimalistic, is probably the best choice when trying to rock this look. Let's talk about the tie I'm wearing right now versus the tie in the photo. I think the more modern, once again, more contemporary knit tie, whether it's silk or wool like this one, is definitely a better choice just because it's a little bit more youthful and it, it feels like it's that type of vibe. You can still tuck in the shirt, but then maybe ditch the belt just so it looks a little bit more, once again, modern. It's all about modernizing the suit enough so that it works then with that clean, minimal sneaker. Now, I've talked a whole lot about how to update that, but if I'm being honest, the way I rock suits with sneakers is usually with a t-shirt. And this is what that looks like. I think once you've reached this pattern of t-shirt, suit, and sneakers, you have a lot more flexibility. While a few of the other factors still remain in place, like the shape of the suit, the notch lapel, the fabric, the styling, a lot of those things are still the same, but it's a lot easier and a lot more affordable to now switch out the t-shirt or just switch out the sneakers to change up the look a little bit. For example, you could be wearing this very suit from Top Man with a pair of Converse high top canvas sneakers instead of the white sneakers that I'm wearing right now to create a look that's already a lot different and a lot more casual just by switching out one thing that costs you 60 bucks and you might already have in your closet. Another alternative is to go for a bolder color instead of wearing the white. Maybe wear a pair of yellow old school Vans together with a yellow t-shirt to make the look a little bit more interesting than a navy and white combination. Like I said before, you can have fun with different types of patterns and this suit right here is an excellent choice to do so. It's modern, it's straightforward, but it's still very interesting. You'll see that I added a cuff at the bottom of the pants, which I think really, really work for this type of look. And in this case, I'm wearing a pair of white and beige skater sneakers from my own collection on kariflores.com. They're available right now if you guys like them. And I paired that similar to the look prior with a tan colored t-shirt up top underneath the jacket. The last option I got for you is an all black look to make a couple of points. One, you can absolutely rock this look with a double breasted suit. I think it works the best if you keep the jacket unbuttoned though. And I'm pointing out that you can also wear this with the, in my opinion, more casual Vans sneaker, the authentic, that also easily works when you opt for something that's a little bit more street like this look altogether. So that's five ways that I like wearing this type of look, suits, sneakers, together with the t-shirt. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So so let's roll right into the comment section. And today we're gonna to take a look at what you guys had to say about the getting dressed video that I uploaded on Tuesday. Now the first comment on there is actually my own and that's the about the re-upload. We had a few issues with the video. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, Johan K said, you can also just call a wife beater a ripped undershirt or an A-shirt. Also fun fact, in France they're calling Marcel. So do with that what you want. You know, I actually feel like I knew that at some point that they're calling Marcel and then maybe, maybe, deliberately forgot <laughs> but thanks for the heads up i'm definitely going to use that in the future next up dr abjack said you really are the best fashion channel man i unsubbed from teaching men's fashion alpha m a long time ago due to them selling out and not offering actual style advice but i found your channel and now i watch every single video you put out even if it's something i'm not specifically interested in just because i love your whole vibe keep up the good work man um, let's actually look at what the responses uh, are first. Uh, I'm in the same bro, their video quality isn't the best because the sponsor is true. I'm only watching him and Alex Costa now. Uh, seem more genuine 
Thank you. <laughs> I mean, here, here's here's the thing, guys. First of all, thank you so much. Like it, the, the the fact that you think that is is awesome, and I, I strive to be very authentic. That's always been whether before YouTube, just on Instagram and my blog and lookbook and all that. I always that's what I strive for. So thank you, and I'm glad that genuinity, genuity. It's completely cool if you want to unsub from them or have unsub from them, but I think they, they are doing their own thing and they're reaching a bunch of people and they have taught and helped literally millions of guys in their own way. Yes, they're making money and maybe uh, you're not the, the biggest fan of how and think it impa impacted the, the quality a little bit. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think to each their own and like, I'm glad, I'm glad you guys are here. I'm glad you guys are part of the ODS squad, but let's stick to the positivity and keep spreading that. All right, guys. Mr. Henry84 said he'd like to see my workout routine. I have my workout routine on YouTube. If you Google one da Google, yeah, Google YouTube, uh, one Dapper Street workout. Uh, it should pop up. It's from a year ago, but I actually pretty much still do the same thing, so feel free to check that out. <laughs> Valid says, Valid says, what the hell? I've been gone for like two, three weeks and the whole genre has changed. By the way, I like this new <laughs> reading comments thing. Glad you do, bro. Now I'm reading your comment. Um, where have you been? Two, three weeks, unacceptable. <laughs> Sumitra Gurung said, after watching your video, I'm already your fan and I've subscribed to you and like you in every video. I love you, boy, and I think you're the best. Awesome, thank you. That's so sweet. You're, oh, I, I actually remember reading you this. I like this. Um, your, your true, uh, Eric Brown said, your true love for fashion um, shines through and I appreciate your spin. Many other channels seem to be more concerned about looking cool Rather than using fashion as a vehicle for self-expression, that seems to be uh, that seems to breed a right or wrong mentality, which kind of kills the nuance of expression. Keep sharing your passion. I enjoy and keep learning along the way. Yeah, absolutely, man. Like it's all about self-expression. There is no right or wrong. I'm, I'm trying to verbalize that as much as I can with every single video, even the one that you just watched, the suits and the sneakers. This is what, what I would recommend you do if you're trying to nail that look in the way that I see fit. But you can do whatever the heck you want. I don't have to like it, right? That's like the biggest thing about fashion. Like you do it so you feel good in what you wear. And then, you know, if somebody else likes it and that's important to you, there's a few factors that go into, into it, of course. So like, I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to just help you find your own. You know, like I'm just trying to show you what you can do and then you do with it whatever you want. So thank you for this comment. What brand is the tank top from? The tank top is from Uniqlo and I love them. $5.99, uh, you can get them packaged. They, they have them constantly in stock. Love them and several colors and all this. Then uh, becoming a fan of your work. Awesome job lately fam. Thank you. Becoming a fan. Slow, becoming a big fan. So you're a small fan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I enjoy your channel so much. I love the way you sell the outfits. Get good ideas from looking at your videos. Keep up the great work. Awesome. That's exactly the point of the videos, right? The response is, me too, styled by Dylan. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Demetrios Levi. One of the ones that saw the video without, without the comment, uh, without the music. Much better with the music. I feel you, dude. If I forgot, uh, my com the comments cut off. I don't know how to, I don't know what to do. Moving on to the next one. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Dylan again said, a big fan of that shirt layering makes any outfit look so much better. People think you can't layer but uh, in summer, but it's a perfect example of how to do just that. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Yes, exactly the point. Layering in the summer is fine if you know how you do it with the right fabrics and the right styling to keep it easy breezy, lemon squeezy. The studio in Cali gives a different vibe, more adapted, more summer looks. I, this is actually not like my, this is, I'm, I'm in New York right now. This is my New York apartment. Um, with Hilda, who's right over there listening to music. Hi. Yeah, we, we live here in New York and then you're, you're gonna see a lot more of the LA apartment, but this is not it. <laughs> then there's a bunch of y'all's messages that are just like super positive and, and, and encouraging and, and funny, <laughs> straightforward with sexy legs. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, honestly. Like I, I it's, it's just awesome. I don't know, it's nice. Coming from Instagram where people are like, here's an emoji and then you guys are here on YouTube expressing like gratitude and, 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 and compliments and, and like encouragement is awesome. CT said, I should make a video on how to style ripped jeans. Also, if, um, if I would like to translate your content to Spanish, he's, he's, he's my guy. Uh, well, ripped jeans, I feel, I mean, I wear ripped jeans all the freaking time. I feel like every other video you can probably get some inspiration on how to style ripped jeans and I actually did think of something like that yesterday. I think it's gonna come for early fall, like a more more rugged type video. 
So I, I'll keep that in mind for sure. Holler at me guys, if you guys want Spanish Spanish subs, let me down below. Uh, let me know down below and then maybe we can make something work with CT. Um, Abastanza agree with me on the whole uh, sunglass thing, which is um, awesome. Because, you know, like I said, he his actually have prescription, which is great. So just backing up my point. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Webby said, best videos to me personally are in the fall win winter months. Much prefer the styling in the layers, so uh, look forward to them. However, I still watch every video throughout the summer. Thanks for watching, thanks for supporting, and I actually feel you. I like the fall and winter months much, much more when it comes to fashion. I think they're just, you know, same reasons. The more interesting fabrics, uh, you just have so many more layers to play with. Uh, which just also gets a little bit more expensive trying to put together one outfit or an entire video full of outfits. <laughs> Muhammad said, for me your channel is the most dressing inspirational channel and I try my best to follow your styles. Awesome dude. Do it. Do it. Try your best. That's all, that's all I ask. Just, you know, your best for you. <laughs> Nick asked uh, where I got the nail ring. It's not Surge. That's actually one of the only ones that's not Surge in the entire lineup. I got it in a vintage store in LA in Santa Monica. No, not Santa Monica, in Venice Beach. James Bartlett wants to know about my design now cargos. I actually don't know if they're still available. Let me, I, I, I gotta check that out. That's on my to-do list as of right now to check out whether they still are. So Sean McCafferty just bought the same exact shirt. It's very difficult to find that particular floral combination. It's slim fit, decent quality. He had that, that shopping page open for a while. And now uh, he rocked it all weekend with, with loafers. Hell yeah. All right, you, 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 you and I both, bro. <laughs> Um, the Fashion Architect is a first time commenter, but a long time watcher. Uh, thank you, man. Um, uh, awesome. I'm glad I can be an inspiration to, to any single one of you, let, let alone all of you together. So that's, that's awesome. Thank you, man. SCD Observer commented, let me guess, part of the reason why you're getting more comfortable with wearing shorts could be because your girlfriend likes the way you look in them. Nothing wrong with that. If someone you love really loves you, they'll t they tell you the truth and truth with love changes minds and hearts. She must have, in some major way, changed your heart towards wearing shorts. Thank you for reading my comment, much appreciated. That was a thank you for the last comment reading, but I guess it applies to this one as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, maybe, subconsciously, and it's not, not necessarily, I'm usually the one that influences her a little bit more when it comes to fashion. But maybe that's something that happened. <laughs> Brett commented, miss you, I miss you too, bro. I'll be back so soon, Sunday, back in LA. And let's wrap it up with a comment from Donut Martin saying, Hey man, I watch you, Alex, Jose, and Alpha. I get inspiration from all of you collectively. I think you, as well as the others, are killing the game and you deserve to have 5.2 million just as they do. I love your outfits, energy, positivity, and vibe all around. I appreciate your videos, bro. Thank you. Awesome. Exactly what I think you should be doing. Try and, try and source all your info all your, your inspiration from different channels, pick what works for you and kind of like put aside what doesn't work for you. And I'm glad you appreciate the whole vibe because I think this, this you know, at the end of the day, I'm talking to you guys almost like several times a week. It should be about a little bit more than just fashion. It should be about what, you know, back to the point of like self-expression. I also want to kind of show you guys who I am and how I express that through fashion and positivity and, and uh, Good energy is definitely a big, big part of that. And I also love Samir Siddiqui's uh, comment. Check out 40 over fashion, Gen Slabs, Real Men Style, uh, Real Men Real Style. There's a bunch more channels on YouTube that I can also just highly recommend. Many of them a little bit more niche that, that offer great, great content for you guys to check out as well. And I think at that point I want to wrap it up for today. Uh, there's a few more, but I, 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 I think, you know, we've covered Good, a good, good amount of ground today, so. Oh, actually, why is your, as I'm stumbling, last comment, why is your accent so weird? I'm like, because I'm German. I didn't know it was weird. Now you told me. I'll have to look at that. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope I'll see you soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper, even though I don't look super dapper right now because I'm about to go work out. Bye, guys.